slowed down DeLon Carter on his first attempt as he slips action for Nassib. Wants to set up the screen. Gets it to the sideline. The fullback Adam Harrison. And he picked up a handful. It'll be third down at about six as we check our... Nassib trying to buy some time. Scrambles up the sideline. Lowers his shoulder and gets bumped out of bounds. About two yards shy of the first down. Forced out by now Syracuse similarly bouncing back to seven and five this season. They also started four and one, also struggled. The resurgence of the Syracuse program, but this offense has got to do something to get points on the board. And Big East play. And I think the recipe for them today is they've got to be able to throw the ball in first down off of play action. Mile and a half or so away from Yankee Stadium here in the Bronx. This is the high school that Doug Marone called home. Herbert the state almost predominantly plays a four deep coverage which allows tight ends to get open in the flat and right here on the naked right now with the weather we've had with the temperatures we've had watch the feet go out from under Brazel Brown as he knocks this pass down so, former walk on who now starts a corner for Kansas State if you can throw an incomplete pass on first down and on to the 34 yard line and moves the chains. Ty Zimmerman came up to make the stop. To go with a run pass check. What the quarterback needs to do is check the safeties if you get one. Down and about eight for Syracuse. The 11th play of this drive coming up as we approach six minutes to go in the first quarter. Fourth down and nine, but they are inside the 35-yard line on a field where I can't imagine you're going to have realistic long field goal tries. No, I don't think you're going to have that opportunity. But... And Kansas State takes over at their own 40-yard line in a moment. Lemire just comes right off the edge, unaccounted for, nowhere for Nassi. Defense has been horrific against the run. They're 118th out of 120 teams in football, and they have just struggled at stopping powerful teams. And You can't get overextended with your feet. You've got to keep your feet under you in these conditions. Carter. That's a heck of an accomplishment for that young man. So now Carter stays in the game as the odd back at the top of your screen. Now in motion. Offense, number 81. Ten yard penalty. Repeat, second down. They got the wide receiver, Cody Morgan. Had the right call at the right. The fact that he has been nothing but a model student and a lot of community service, a great leader, and one linebackers try to react to a quarterback running. It's very difficult. So the advantage right now is to the offense. That has to be the right depth at the right time. Otherwise, those kinds of things happen. Two open Nickel packages. They get him up around the line of scrimmage to play linebacker because he's a big kid. 215 pounds and he can handle it. Third. It's off the edge with the corner. Nassim didn't panic. Found his open receiver for the touchdown. Ross Crowley with the point after. It's home. Two touchdowns. Modest gain. A gain of about five to the 45 yard line to Alec Lemon. Nassim. Well protected. Five over the middle and a part about the 25 yard line bouncing around to Zimmerman and he's brought down at the 26 yard line. You want to hear an inspirational story? Well, it looked like the left guard Zach Shabane was getting an earful from the head coach. <laughs> well when you're an offensive line coach you're, you look at the offensive line he's not watching the quarterback. there, But of course he was an offensive lineman at Syracuse from 1983. The ball and you get back a little too fast and you lose your footing. Well, Brian Greasy, it was Kansas State that opened the scoring. The second play from scrimmage in the game, Daniel Thomas. Brought the lead on this play, diagnosing the blitz and getting it to Sales again, who is having, you might, I don't know if you have anything to lose here by, by attempting a field goal, but Nassim had nowhere to go with this couple shots at the end zone before you attempt a field goal. So that's credit to Ryan Nassim on that last play. It's a good decision. Yeah, I would think if I were Doug Marone, I'm thinking if I go forward on fourth and five, even if I don't get it, considering Kansas State scores the first touchdown, Syracuse with the help of the bomb flea flicker from Nassib to Sales. Carter, 
gives some room again. Powers his way down to about the 30-yard line. Another first down for Carter inside the 25. Well, DeLon Carter starting to catch his rhythm, but so is he. Bailey's still on his feet all the way down to about the 11-yard line. Another first down for Syracuse. To the 7. Again, it's Terrence Sweeney making the stop, and boy, does nothing but secondary players making all the town. Carter turns the corner. Touchdown, Syracuse. How easy was that? Physical and just take the will of your opponent. Cruz came away with the football. Cruz down by contact and still down here at Yankee Stadium. You're going to see off of this side, there's a blitz from Garrett. This, you blitz one side, the other side has to out on the back side. The exact route you want to run against a 2D defense there and an accurate ball. It's not easy to catch when it's your need on the quarterback. Now you're back uh, on your heels again. Toss to the outside of the car. It'll be another third. Bailey a third and three. Uses quickness, gets right to the first down marker, and it looks to be another Syracuse first down. The action for Nets to see if they can get the point back that they lost when Ross Krautman missed the point after a moment ago, but it's the third big touch. Quick slant to Alec Lemon. So Syracuse still has the lead, but now it's only a five-point advantage with seven. Pass. And that's the kind of attitude that winners have. And that's what he's trying to instill, Syracuse. Squid kick. Um, Four-hour coverage for Brian Greasy. 